There are many of you, you look at the javelin and the sword of the devil or the enemy, what the enemy is true to you. Do you know listening to Nigerian news is like looking at the javelin and the sword? I told you last week, if there is a need for you to keep your eyes and your mind and your hear away from Nigerian news, for now, nothing good is in that news. And it has power to demoralize you. But look into the word of God that says you can do all things through all, through Christ that strengthens you that says greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world when you look into that and you disrecognize what the tribunes and the punch and what is on the internet you will see yourself moving don't look at their continents don't look at their continents Samuel went to Jesse family it was to pass through the midst of the Israelis. And he said, if Saul hear this, he will kill me. And God gave him wisdom and knowledge to go through. And when all the sons of that man, Jesse, gathered themselves together, he looked at the Eliab and the shamans. They looked qualified, but God said unto him, don't look at their continents. I've rejected them. May I announce to somebody, God has rejected every force, every enemies, every challengers of your destiny, every contendants of your destiny. God asked me to tell you, he has rejected them. They are empty barrier. Don't let their look frighten you. Don't look at their countenance. Look up unto me. Look up unto God. I'm the author. I am the finishers of your faith what David said he said what can man do unto me look at me look at me there is nothing you can do to me I am the apple eyes of God I hid in Christ Jesus what can man do unto me I am not looking at what you carry how you look how big you are where you are coming from your background your skills and war but there is one thing I look unto Jesus the author and the finishes of my faith. And that is how it works. Don't look at their countenance. Their preposition does not matter. Their evil intention does not matter. They said they are going to back off. They are not going to support you again. That's okay. That's okay. God can use him before. And if he says that God is not going to use him again, God is going to raise ten times better. Hey! Than him or her. Am I, can I get a witness here? Yes, Don't look at their countenance. Don't look at them. To look at them is to miss your way. To look at them is to miss your conversation with your maker. I believe that David knew that God sent him. So looking at that man, that tall man, can cost him that. So he didn't look at it. He looked up. Tell your neighbor for me, say, look up. And don't look at their countenance. Number three, you must know who you are. I told you last Sunday that you are Christian. You are blood washed and righteous. You are a child of the king and the light of the world. No weapon formed against you can prosper. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. You must know who you are in Christ. First Corinthians 6 verse 20 says, For ye are bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body. You are bought. You were brought, bought and you are still but God is still buying some today with precious price. Know who you are in Christ. You are not just in a notice that anybody can just toy with. You are significant, important. You carry royal blood. You came from a royal bloodline. You can't be tampered with anyhow. Carry yourself that way. Walk tall. Believe in the divine provision. First John 4, 4. Ye are God, little children, 
and have overcome them because greater is he that is in you than he that is in you. I love the first line. Ye are of God. Say, I am of God. I am of God. Now, in our went to, he said, I am of God's little children. I'm of God's, I am precious. I am precious. Now, I began to look at my daughter when she's giving testimony. I was just smiling within me. I, I used to remember how I used to carry her when she was small. Amen. There was a time she and her mother, they are going uh, back to, to their station and I took 